Well, here we are. We meet again. This tutorial is going to cover the first law of thermodynamics. Ooh, scary. And energy. So it's about energy, enzymes, how that all works. It's going to be quick, I swear. So let's just take a little listen, shall we? I think we shall. Let's see. Go. All right. First law of thermodynamics, energy cannot be created or destroyed. It's just change from one form to another. So what kind of changes did we see? Photosynthesis, sunlight changes or converts to chemical energy, glucose, sugar, whatever you want to call it, carbs. So we are converting sunlight energy into chemical energy. We're not adding more energy. We're not taking energy away. It's not created or destroyed. <laughs> it's just converted. What about cellular respiration? Conversion, change, glucose or sugar to ATP. ATP is that useful guy that we can actually use to do stuff in the cell. Ugh, not created, not destroyed, just changed form to become more useful for whatever we happen to need it for. If we want to store it, sugar's better. If we need to use it, ATP is better. It's a beautiful thing. All right, let's talk a little bit about metabolism, and then that's just going to have to be it for today because it's already been a lot. It's just an overview, people. Get a grip on yourself, Malone. All right, metabolism, chemical reactions that incur, occur inside cells. You can think of your metabolism, right? Oh, I have such a great metabolism. I can eat whatever I want. Yeah, shut up. Whatever. <laughs> Right? It's the chemical reactions. It's breaking down sugars, making that ATP doing work, or building up proteins. Oh, we need to make stuff and break stuff down. That's all metabolism. Enzymes are catalysts. They speed up chemical reactions. Chemical reactions happen spontaneously, but not in a physiologically relevant way. If you waited for something to break, for food to break down in your gut, Without enzymes, you would be dead before it would break down enough for you to absorb and survive. So we got to speed that up. Definitions, definitions, guys. Substrates, molecules that react to form new products. So substrate in, product out. You can also call a substrate a reactant. Reactant to product. It reacts, becomes a product. It's a substrate to a product. Ooh, helped by enzymes. Yay, enzymes. All right, so how does an enzyme work? Here's our little substrate molecules, this guy and this guy. They're two separate molecules. Think of them two separate things, right? They bind to this enzyme, each enzyme specific for each substrate or each reaction. And then this little picture shows how it squeezes. The enzyme changes shape and shoves these two guys together, and oh, now they're a product. So this was a substrate or a reactant. It got squeezed by the enzyme, and now it's a whole new thing. A whole new product is produced. And then, oh look, the enzyme is back to his normal shape, just like here, so now he can do the same thing again. So enzymes are just used over and over and over, but we don't have to make new proteins to do it. We just, he's here, he squeezes, makes his product, releases. S grab his guys, squeeze them, <laughs> release them, relax. Grab them, squeeze them, release them, relax. On and on and on. That's how enzymes work. Oh, hey, I'm back. I was taking a little nap. So that's how enzymes work. Metabolic pathways? Yeah, that's going to be another day. So thanks for listening, and I'll see you soon. Thanks, guys. Stop recording now. Yeah, okay.